Hey guys, how's it going? Steven here. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing here of a 360 millimeter. This is a uh, distro plate or waterway and it's made more specifically for the Lee & Lee PC-011 Dynamic XL but it will fit in other cases where a 360 millimeter radiator will go. So let's get started. Alright, so let me get this guy opened up. Alright, so first thing we get here is, um, and I will have a link for uh, this stuff down in the uh, description below. Uh, I did buy this off of eBay. It's from uh, Radical Customs. Uh, he has a Instagram and eBay page. Uh, makes custom distro plates, so I will... Uh, Post his link down below. So this is a uh, mount for a D5 pump. And we have a distro plate here. And there's the distro plate there. So... Looking at the plate here, um, 360 millimeters. So on the back here is where you mount the D5 pump. So right here we have a drain port on the bottom. And then on the front, this is your outlet. And then you have a pass through there, pass through there. And then this is going to be the, uh, inlet over here to let the water flow through here so the measurements on this guy is so it is 14.2 inches by 4.75 inches and 1.2 inches thick and I'll put that up and I will convert it to uh, millimeters as well. So this is an acrylic distro plate. He does have many other uh, plates on his uh, eBay page. But uh, this is really nice high quality. Um, it might look a little weird because it has some saran wrap on it. But I'm going to leave that on until I'm ready to put it in. But uh, very, very nice. So I uh, just wanted to show a quick unboxing of this. And I will... Uh, Show here a little video of it uh, installed. Alright guys, so I have got the Radical Customs distro plate all fully installed. I have all of my lines ran. I have brand new fans and a new CPU block installed. Make sure you guys go down, hit that subscribe button. I will have videos coming soon for the Corsair QL fans and that Alpha Cool uh, ice block CPU block. So anyways, on to the... Um, distro plate here uh, one thing I actually did not notice originally when unboxing and installing this there's actually a little slot down here where you can put a 
a light strip so you can actually light this up it does just have a little groove installed in the bottom there but I do have a full light strip all the way around and I have that light strip, light strip hooked up to my Corsair IQ software. So it's all uh, ran on one software. The distro plate, I must say, whatever Radical Customs does to these, he does a very, very good job. The threads to thread in the distro plate and mount it are buttery smooth. And same thing with the G and a quarter fittings. Every single one of them is extremely smooth. I had no problem whatsoever, any type of leaks, any rough threads, anything like that. This thing is made very, very well, and I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I will have links down below for uh, his eBay page where he sells. I'll also link his Instagram. Um, I was actually able to go in there and message him and talk to him. But he does sell uh, 360 millimeter distro plates, uh, 240, 280, 120. He also has the uh, Dynamic Uno, I believe it's called, which is a front distro plate for the uh, O11XL. And you can get it with single D5 pumps, dual D5 pumps. Um, you can do the DDC pump, comes with all the brackets, everything. Uh, go check out his page. Highly recommend that. I was going to go with just a, uh, like a borrow, um, standard, you know, like, I guess you'd call it box store distro plate, but, uh, after checking out his videos and pictures of this, uh, I went ahead and decided to go with this and I'm glad I did because it is extremely nice and extremely well built. I have a, uh, Swift Tech, Swift Tech D5 PWM pump. Uh, mounted back there. I have it on about 50%, 45, 50% right now. And uh, my flow rate is great, especially with uh, two blocks and two 360 millimeter uh, radiators. Bottom radiator is 30 millimeters thick. Top radiator is 45 millimeters thick. Flow rate is good. So how I have this going is this is the output. I just have it coming back through um, I guess this is a little bypass channel, I'll call it. That goes into the Fantex distro plate there, which in return goes to the CPU block. Comes back through this bypass up to this top radiator, out of the radiator into the CPU block, or uh, GPU block, down into the bottom rad, and then coming back up out of the rad and draining there. Uh, temps are great. My idle temps are between 28 and 30 degrees Celsius and under full load, 100% load, I don't see over 60, 62 degrees Celsius. Uh, so it's great. So like I said, I will have links for everything down below. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, leave them down below. Like I said before, I highly, highly recommend um, these distro plates. If you're looking for one, check out Radical Customs. Um, it's awesome that you can message him, ask him questions. He'll uh, send you, a, sent me a pictures. Uh, so it's great. You can even check out his YouTube video. He actually sh uh, videos. He actually shows how he makes these and uh, different types of things. So you can kind of get an idea of how you want to run it. Uh, this distro plate is not specifically. Uh, just for the Lee and Lee case, it will fit other cases um, because he does have these holes um, in this plate so you can actually run um, right to the GPU, right to the CPU, things like that. Um, any, anyways, enough of me rambling on. Go check him out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Come back for more. I'll have more videos coming soon. Very much appreciate you guys. See you next time. Take care.